Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to CCNP Enterprise course, Cisco Certified Network Professional Enterprise. To take this course, you have to take two exams. We are teaching two courses. One is called CCNP NCO, other one is called CCNP NRC. CCNP NCO stands for Enterprise Core. CCNP NRC stands for Enterprise Advanced Routing and Services. And there are two exam code, one is 35401 and 300410. You must take this one and you have to take one of the course, but we are teaching this particular advanced routing and services because it's supporting advanced routing. So when you take these two courses, each course will take seven to eight classes and you'll be taught the courses, you'll be doing labs, and then you'll be prepped for the exam. Uh, there are a couple of ways, guys. I know everybody passed, most of the people already passed CCNA. The way towards going to the IT networking is nothing but you can do CCNA and you can do CCNP. Most of the people, they go in that route because they want to go to network specialization. Sometimes people go and take AWS only after CCNA. So if they want to go to cloud environment, if they want to know what is the cloud, everything is moving to cloud. So we have a course called AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate. If anybody want to go to cybersecurity, they go to CompTIA Security Plus as a starting point. So CompTIA Security Plus is one of the leading certification for cybersecurity. But some people, they go and do everything. They do CCNA, then they do CCNP, AWS, security. That means they have everything. So again, you have to build the resume. So you have to think which way to go. And if you think you want to go to ISP, Bell, Tellers, Rogers, or any ISP, if you want to go and work with, think about CCNP. So very important course, guys. Again, uh, our student, more than 25 to 40 percentage of students, they go to CCNP. So now remember, CCNP labs are different. We'll be doing around seven to eight labs for each module. So NCORE is different course. NRC is different course. Each course you'll be doing labs. And remember for the lab, it's not packet it's a totally different software. We'll be doing on a VM, VM based thing, VM player is a pre-built GNS3. That pre-built GNS3 has routers and switches. You can drag the routers and switches and you can turn it on and you can get in the tab format. So you can have around even 10 routers in the tab format. So you can look at the diagram condition and do the labs. So again, guys, we'll be doing labs because hand on hands ons are very important for me. And all the labs will be videotaped so that you can always do the labs at the later time. Okay. So what we are going to cover in CCNP, CCNP ENCO. So you are doing CCNP Enterprise. That CCNP Enterprise certification has two courses. One is called ENCO, you must take. Other one can be either NRC or any of the courses, but we are teaching NRC, okay? So in ENCO, ENCO is like a CCNA global thing. You are studying, this is the very, very important subject for CCNP Enterprise. It's a must certification. You'll be learning everything. You'll be learning about layer two. So again, you'll be learning about what is spanning tree, what is VLAN, VTP, trunking, ether channel. You'll be introduced to routing. Routing is EIGRP, OSPF, BGP, multicasting is new. You'll be introduced to QoS and IP services. You'll be studying overlay tunnels. These are brand new. You never studied in CCNA, LISP and VXLAN, location, identity, separation, protocol and virtual extendable LAN. We are going to talk about wireless also, 802.11, roaming, authentication. This is new, especially SD access and SD WAN is new. So we are going to talk about software defined access and software defined WAN. And again, in this ENCO, you'll be introduced to security. So what are the Cisco security framework, solution, everything we'll be going through. And also to combine SD access, SD WAN, LISP, VXLAN, we'll be talking about SDN. Then finally, you'll be prepped for the exam and also you'll be added to the WhatsApp group. So again, guys, pass. so people ask me passing rate if you attend the class properly, if you go through the questions, but we are going and if you are active on the WhatsApp group, you'll be getting very good marks. Okay, guys. So after ENCO, so again, it's not after ENCO or after NRC, these courses can be done independently. There is no relationship between, yeah, there are some overlap, but you can do independently. So you can do either NRC first, or ENCO first, there is nothing, nothing wrong. Okay, so CCNP NRC, this is another part of enterprise. So if you want to do CCNP enterprise, this is another course we what we teach. 
Uh, we are going to talk about IPv4, IPv6 routing. We'll be introducing you to what is access list, prefix list, route map. Here is mainly routing. So that means whatever you learned in CCNP routing are going to go deeper. You'll be learning EIGRP very deep, OSPF very deep, border gateway protocol very deep. So only time you are going to introduce deeper BGP discourse than IPv6. Then advanced routing. So you learn routing, then now you are going to learn about advanced routing in section 7. You are going to talk about route redistribution, route filtering, etc. Every chapter has a lab. Just see, every chapter has a lab. So that way we want to make it as a lab class. Then on section 8, you'll be learning VRF, MPLS, MPLS VPN and DMVPN. They are very important technologies. Multi-protocol label switching, virtual private network, dynamic multipoint virtual private network. And we'll be talking about security and device management. And then there'll be exam preparation class and you'll be added to the WhatsApp group. So ENCO and NRC, there are two different courses. So two, you have to register two different courses. If you want to become CCNP enterprise, you must be taking both. Okay. So we were talking about CCNP. So right now we were talking about CCNP enterprise. Okay. So I said CCNP enterprise so it's called ENT. You have to take two courses. One is called ENCO. Another one is uh, NRC. We offer these courses once every NRC, once every every two months or two and a half months. So order doesn't matter. Whatever course available, register. Okay. So, and also in the future, we will be planning to offer CCNP security. Uh, in the CCNP security, there are two courses we are going to give. One is called ESCO. ESCO means security core. Other one is called firewall. So firewall become very important on the Cisco industry. So we'll be doing this one. Both are different. This is for big companies. If you are going to work for big companies, you're going to do enterprise. And here, if you want to work on the cyber security field of Cisco, you're going to do CCNP security. Guys, again, sky is the limit. So these are the courses we offer. Hopefully I gave you guys proper information about the courses and outline. If you like, if you are interested to register, you can contact me or you can visit system.ca. I hope you guys enjoyed. Good luck. Goodbye. See you all later. Bye bye.